Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about the fact sheet that CMS released on February 24th of 2022. In that fact sheet, CMS announced a new payment model called Accountable Care Organization or ACO Realizing Equity, Access and Community Health or REACH model. In this video, I will go over some of the takeaways from that fact sheet. Let's get started. I will start with the overview. The Centers for Medicaid and Medicaid Services or CMS has redesigned the global and professional direct contracting model or GPDC model to advance ad administration priorities, including their commitment to advancing health equity and in response to stakeholder feedback and participant experience. The Center for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation or Innovation Center is releasing a request for applications or RFA to solicit a cohort of participants for the Accountable Care Organization or ACO Realizing Equity, Access and Community Health or REACH model. The GPDC model will be renamed the ACO REACH model to better align the model's name with its purpose to encourage healthcare providers to coordinate care to improve the care offered to people with Medicare especially those from underserved communities, which is a priority of the Biden-Harris administration. The new cohort will begin participation in the ACO REACH model on January 1st of 2023. Current GPDC model participants must agree to meet all the ACO REACH model requirements by January 1st of 2023 to continue participating. Additionally, CMS is announcing the permanent cancellation of the Geographic Direct Contracting or GEO model. The GEO model was announced in December 2020 and paused in March 2021 and is being cancelled due to concerns raised by stakeholders. CMS's Vision and Principles for Accountable Care In October of 2021, CMS outlined a renewed vision and strategy for how the Innovation Center will drive health system transformation to achieve equitable outcomes through high-quality, affordable, person-centered care for all beneficiaries. CMS's ACO models and programs are an important component of achieving this vision. In ACOs, physician and other healthcare providers join together to take responsibility for the quality of care their patients receive and the total cost of that care. These responsibilities encourage providers to coordinate the services across clinicians and care settings. The Affordable Care Act or ACA created the Medicare Shared Savings Program, which is CMS's largest ACO initiative to provide beneficiaries in traditional Medicare the opportunity to receive care that meets the full range of their needs. ACOs work to improve chronic disease management, ensure smoother transitions from hospitals to homes, and promote preventive care that keeps patients healthy. As the Innovation Center makes changes to existing models and launches new ones consistent with this vision, CMS wants to work with partners who share their vision and values for improving patient care. The goals of the redesigned ACO REACH model are to improve quality of care and care coordination for patients in traditional Medicare, especially for patients in underserved communities. The ACO REACH model provides tools and resources to empower doctors and other healthcare providers to achieve these goals. This approach affords patients greater individualized attention to their specific healthcare needs while preserving choice of providers and all other services and flexibilities in traditional Medicare. The redesigned ACO REACH model reflects the priorities of the Biden-Harris administration and responds to feedback from stakeholders and participants. ACO REACH will enable CMS to test an ACO model that can inform the Medicare Shared Savings Program and future models by making important changes to the GPDC model in three areas. First, advance health equity to bring the benefits of accountable care to underserved communities. 
The ACO REACH model promotes health equity and focuses on bringing the benefits of accountable care to Medicare beneficiaries in underserved communities. CMS will use an innovative payment approach to better support care delivery and coordination for patients in underserved communities and will require that all model participants develop and implement a robust health equity plan to identify underserved communities and implement initiatives to measurably reduce health disparities within their beneficiary populations. Promote provider leadership and governance. The ACO REACH model includes policies to ensure doctors and other healthcare providers continue to play a primary role in accountable care. At least 75% control of each ACO's governing body must be held by participating providers or their designated representatives compared to 25% in the GPDC model. In addition, the ACO REACH model goes beyond prior ACO initiatives by requiring at least two beneficiary advocates on the governing board, at least one Medicare beneficiary and at least one consumer advocate both of whom must hold voting rights. Protect beneficiaries and the model with more participant vetting, monitoring, and transparency. CMS will require additional information on applicants' ownership, leadership, and governing board to gain better visibility into experience in healthcare delivery, ownership, and financial interests, and affiliations to ensure participants' interests align with CMS's vision. CMS will employ increased upfront screening of applicants, robust monitoring of participants, and greater transparency into the model's progress during implementation, even before final evaluation results, and will share more information on the participants and their work to improve care. Last, the ACO REACH model will include stronger protections against inappropriate coding and risk score growth. The ACO REACH model will offer two voluntary risk sharing options. First is professional option, which is a lower risk option with 50% shared savings slash shared losses and primary care capitation payment. And the other one is global option. Global option is a full risk option with 100% shared savings slash shared losses and either primary care capitation payment or total care capitation payment. The ACO REACH model will also allow participation by three different participant types. Standard ACOs for organizations with substantial experience serving people with traditional Medicare. New entrant ACOs for organizations with less experience serving the traditional Medicare population. And the last one is high needs population ACOs for organizations that serve small traditional Medicare populations with complex healthcare needs. Current GPDC model participants must agree to meet requirements for the ACO REACH model by January 1st of 2023 in order to continue their participation. Now I will talk about the path to greater transparency. CMS recognizes that stakeholders are interested in information about innovation standard models, including greater insights into the participants, what they are doing to improve care and impacts on quality and cost in advance of evaluation results being published. CMS recognizes that this transparency not only provides more accountability to the public, but can also help inform quality improvement. On February 24, 2022, CMS stated that it is reaffirming its commitment to provide greater transparency into the GPDC model for the remainder of 2022 and pledging to do the same with ACO REACH. For GPDC, CMS is sharing information at the participating level including type of entity, whether it is standard, new entrant or high needs, risk sharing arrangement, global or professional, payment option, primary care capitation or total care capitation or advanced payment. Benefit enhancements and beneficiary engagement incentives they have elected to use. Example, care management home visits to prevent hospitalization, waiver of the Medicare homebound, requirement for access to home health services, Part B cost sharing support. 
organization website and core service area. CMS will also share aggregate information for the model, including the number of aligned beneficiaries and information on quality and financial performance based on operations and actuarial data, not the model's evaluation, which will be updated quarterly. It is important to note that the quality information presented is limited to two claims-based measures, all condition readmissions and unplanned admissions for patients with multiple chronic conditions. In addition, information will be shared on the payments being made to model participants on a quarterly basis. Data for additional quality measures may be provided when information becomes available. Finally, as with all innovation center models, independent evaluation results will be posted when available. The application period for ACO REACH opens on March 7, 2022 and closes on April 22, 2022 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. CMS is not soliciting letters of intent or LOIs for performance year 2023 starters. Therefore, submitting an LOI is not required to apply in response to this RFA. What's the status of the geographic direct contracting model? The Innovation Center is canceling the geographic direct contracting model, which was announced in December 2020 and paused in March 2021 because it does not align with CMS's vision for accountable care and due to concerns raised by stakeholders. I conclude my presentation here with a reference slide. Hope you found this information useful. Just to let you know, I am creating a podcast on some of the frequently asked questions related to the REACH model. So stay tuned for that podcast. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye now.